גוד יאנצף, גוד יאנצף, אין שבוע טוב. It's amazing how we can make community even with this uh, technology. It's, it's quite wonderful that we're able to still reach and share with each other even in the midst of this very difficult time. This Rosh Hashanah We come before the mystery of life with a profound sense of humility. Whatever illusions we have had about holding some measure of control in our lives seem to have crumbled away under the weight of the pandemic and the flames that have torn through our once towering forests, scorching to the bare earth whole communities. leaving scattered ashes of countless homes and lives. We, of course, also remember the desperation of people who have died under the heavy weight of hatred and the awful burden of injustice. Our lives have been shaken in ways unimaginable at the start of this past year. And we humbly seek to find words of prayer that are capable of drawing up from our inner depths responses to the awful realizations that we cannot turn from. We're left to search our hearts for prayer that honors the measure of our pain and our yearning for stability, for safety, health, justice, peace, and physical closeness to each other once again. So let us embark on this evening's journey of prayer. Perhaps the words from our traditional spiritual inheritance will touch our inner worlds that await prayerful release of words and whispers into the endless mystery. in the hopes of eliciting some response that will give us renewed strength, hope, and courage to move forward into this renewing cycle of the seasons. So let us begin with the comfort and hopefulness of kindling light. Talia, would you help? Let's make a Shehechianu together. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, 
שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. יש הכוח. Let's turn to page 62 in our Machzor. When I think about the time we're in, I wonder about, as we begin this, this prayer journey, with these very ancient prayers, many of them are qu- quite, quite ancient, and to consider how many places these prayers have been. To, as we begin this newness this year for our community, let's consider, let's bring in our ancestors who have said these prayers and chanted these melodies in so many contexts that are beyond our imagination so we can feel the depth of what we're participating in. It's quite awesome. Ah, 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 seated if I want to invite us to attempt to overcome one of the challenges of meeting in a virtual world rather than in being in one physical room together It uh, might be easy to lapse into a state of mind and a level of brainwave that is more like watching a TV show than participating in a prayer service. So do what you can to up that energy a notch, a good notch, and to really be present. And participate, even though we can't hear one another, we have good imaginations. We can imagine what we sound like together. And let's make this a field of energy that really does elevate us and open gates that only prayer can open. These are words from Avraham Yehoshua Heschel. Awe is a sense for the transcendent, for the reference everywhere to God, who is beyond all things. 
Awe enables us to perceive in the world intimations of the divine, to sense in small things the beginning of infinite significance, to sense the ultimate in the common and the simple, to feel in the rush of the passing the stillness of the eternal. Page 66. Uma virya ume vilaila umavdil ben yom uvein laila adonai tzivahot shema el chai vekayam tamid yimloch aleinu Leolam vaed Baruch Adonai Hamarif Aravim Page 74. Le'olamim, as long as worlds endure. According to rabbinic tradition, creation is not a one-time event. God must constantly create in order to sustain the world. On Rosh Hashanah, we celebrate the rebirth of the world. Marvel at God's constancy manifested in creation and anticipate the future possibilities. The Avatra Lotasur Mimenu Leolamim Baruch Atadonai. Ah, 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 Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Liolam Va'ed A translation by Marge Piercy Excuse me, by Marsha Falk Hero is where here, O Israel, the divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. The many are one. Loving life and its mysterious source with all our heart and all our spirit and all our senses and strength, we take upon ourselves and into ourselves these promises to care for the earth and those who live upon it, to pursue justice and peace, to love kindness and compassion. We will teach this to our children throughout the passage of the day as we dwell in our homes and as we go on our journeys. From the time we rise, until we fall asleep. Adonai Eloichem Emet
page 84. Excuse me, page 88. One of the calls we hear this year, and many of us have shouted this call into the streets, no justice, no peace. Our rabbis understood that peace depends on justice. In the flow of the service, the order, before we say the prayer for peace, we proclaim our commitment and remember our history as a people that have been blessed early on at our birthing from enslavement to freedom. We remember the miraculous wonder of stepping into freedom and we pray that all people will know the goodness of that great blessing. These are words from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the great prophet of our own time. We've got to get this thing right. What is needed is a realization that power without love is reckless and abusive. And love without power is sentimental and anemic. Power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice. And justice at its best is power correcting everything that stands against love. Venemar Kifada Adonai et Yaakov Ogyalo Miad Chazak Mimenu Baruch Adonai Ah, 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 Israel. Words of the late Congressman John Lewis. Hold only love, only peace in your heart, knowing that the battle of good to overcome evil is already won. Choose confrontation wisely, but when it is your time, don't be afraid to stand up, speak up, and speak out against injustice. And if you follow your truth down the road to peace and the affirmation of love, if you shine like a beacon for all to see, then the poetry of all the great dreamers and philosophers is yours to manifest in a nation, a world community, and a beloved community that is finally at peace with itself. Page 92. <laughs> Adonai Eloheinu L'Shalom V'amideinu 
Malkeinu Lechaim Ufros aleinu Zukat shlomecha Vitakneinu Veitza Torah Veitza Torah Shalom Aleinu V'yal kol amo Yisrael V'yal Yerushalayim Let's join together and on this uh, plane we might not be able to hear the harmonies that we're singing but on the heavenly gate of prayer I'm sure our harmonies will join together.
Let's turn to page 98. Tikhu v'chodesh ofar b'kesel yom chagenu ki chok li Yisrael hu mishpat leilohei Yaakov. Page one hundred. Yit kadal, v'yit kadash, shemei rabah, b'yamad ivarach yirutei, b'yamlich malchutei. V'chayei chon, v'yomei chon, v'chayei d'chor, v'yit Yisrael, Pagala of his man Karif, Vimeru Amen. Yeheshme Rabba Mivarach, Yala Mulam, O Maya Yitbarach Yitbarach. The Yishtabach, the Yitvaar, the Yitromam, the Yitnase, the Yitadar, the Yitalev, Yitalal, she made the Kurisha, Berichu, Le Eila, Le Eila, Mikol, Birchata, Vishirata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata t'amiran b'yalma v'yemeru Amen. We'll continue with a silent amidat, a silent time for meditation and contemplation or for reading the traditional prayers which begin on 104 and continue through 126. So let's take a few minutes for going inside and finding words of prayer that are wanting very much to be expressed.
Zohreinu l'chayim Melech hafetz b'chayim V'chot v'heinu v'sefer hachayim L'manecha Elohim chayim Zochreinu l'chayim Melech hafetz b'chayim V'chot v'heinu v'sefer hachayim L'manecha Elohim chayim Let's turn to the Reader's Kaddish on 1196. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemeiraba be'yalmadi v'rachirute Vayamalik malhute, Behayechon of Yamecha, Uvehaye the Holbeit Israel, Bagala, Uviz Mankari, Vimeru Amen, Vimeru Amen, Yehesh Meraba, Mevarach, 
May the prayers and supplications of the whole house of Israel be acceptable to the Creator. And let us say, Amen. And let us say, Amen. May, the, may there be abundant peace and life for us and for all Israel, all creation. And let us say, and let us say, Amen. O se shalom bimerom af hu ya se shalom aleinu v'yalkol Yisrael v'yalkol Yoshvei Tevel v'yimeru Amen. As many of you know, lots of us have been involved in writing postcards to get out the vote. And the Holy Sister who got me into this is Diane Schechter. And the least I could do is to ask her to give a drush tonight. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm very happy, Diane, that you'll offer some of your thoughts and on this uh, sacred evening of gathering as we re-envision for ourselves our lives and our communal realities. So thank you. Please uh, say what's on your mind. Um, Shana Tova, can you all hear me? I've been told I don't have this close enough. So, um, Shana, Tova. Shana Tova, everyone. When I was invited to do this talk by Yitz, um, I tried to defer. They are, there's so many members who are more knowledgeable and better qualified than me. TBI has so many dedicated activists, surely one of them would be a better choice. But as you can see, I wasn't successful in deferring this. So let's begin. Justice, justice, you shall pursue. Justice is a fundamental principle of Judaism. At Rosh Hashanah, we hear the shofar calling us, but it is not enough to merely hear the shofar. We are told that we are that we are to know the sound of the shofar and to know the sound of the shofar is to heed its invitation to act on our values now is the time for us to reflect on how we shall pursue justice and what we can do to bring more equitable society when we were slaves in mitzrayim we called out for liberation and our voices were heard as Jews, it is now our turn to listen to these voices crying out. We were slaves, we were the stranger, and we were the outsiders. And now black Americans in many ways are the outsiders. And so because of our own history, we have an imperative to be sensitive to the outsider. We have taken that lesson into our hearts it has been an important part of our communal experience and our own Jewish history. 
being activists working for change. So now let us embrace the outsider and work towards equality, dignity, and justice for all Black Americans. We find ourselves at a time now when we hear the voices desperately crying out for racial justice. The horrendous murder of George Floyd shone a bright light on police brutality. It was a cry for all of us to take a deep look at the painful history of racial oppression in our country. It was a cry for us to take a deep look at ourselves. And it was a cry for us to look at how we as Jews can pursue justice. It's a history where the knee has stayed on the neck of African Americans for far too long. Justice delayed is justice denied. After their emancipation from slavery, Black Americans found themselves enslaved again, this time by the Jim Crow laws of the South. It was a period filled with terror and violence, which lasted for almost 100 years. For the millions who fled, the term used over and over again was escape. They escaped to cities in the North and the West, but there they found that the racism just followed them there. Efforts at progress are slow and have taken far too long. And so often forward movement is blocked. And so the knee stays on the neck and the cries continue to be heard. Today we are faced with the mass incarceration of black men, a result of the war on drugs. This has decimated communities of color. Millions are locked behind bars. And when they are released, they are denied their basic civil rights. Our criminal justice system is now the new Jim Crow. Once again, we work towards progress, but again we stumble and justice is eluding us. We are now facing a critical election and we expect that everyone's voice will be heard, but we are facing unprecedented efforts to keep our voices from being heard. The Voting Rights Act is considered the most effective piece of civil rights legislation in American history. Recently, the Supreme Court overturned a major part of the law. Within, tw within 24 hours of the ruling, 24 hours, Texas announced that it would implement a strict photo ID law. In the ensuing years, we have seen an increase in pur the purging of voter rolls, closing of polling places, and other restrictions. These restrictions are clearly targeting communities of color. And now, once again, Jim Crow is back. Our vote is our voice, our voice is our power, and we have the power to pursue the justice that is eluding us. We have seen success and we have prevailed in many ways, but the pain of racial bigotry and oppression continues. The list is long and it runs deep and it just never seems to end. Our systemic racism is keeping the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of so many from being fulfilled and we must continue the work. The massive protests in support of the Black Lives Matter movement gives me hope. Will these calls finally be heard? Have we turned the corner? And finally, will we take action to address the unrelenting racial injustice that has plagued our country? Justice, justice, you shall pursue. Why is justice repeated twice? One perspective is that we need to hear the voices of both the oppressed and the oppressor. As Jews who are white, we must take a deep look inside, but it's easy to forget that there are also many Jews who are not white. We need to listen to all the voices and learn from our history and the gaps of our own awareness. Our beloved Oregon has its own painful history. Its racial makeup has been shaped by black exclusion laws. These laws succeeded in their aim by discouraging free Blacks from selling here. So now, as a result, we are living in one of the whitest states in the country. And now is the time to look at our own privilege and take responsibility for a more ethical society. Like many of you, I have been crushed by the persistent and never-ending incidences of police killings of Black Americans. I watched in disbelief as it happened again and again and again. And each time I just thought the same thing. It is so hard to be black in America. As someone who is white, I am aware of the privilege I'm afforded 
and the pain I have been spared because I am white. As a white parent, I have never experienced the fear that when my son left the house, he may not return alive. I have never had to give my children lessons on how to act if the police car stopped your car. I have never grieved like so many parents have when their sons, their black sons and daughters have been killed by the police. Because, perhaps because I'm an optimist or per perhaps because I'm white, but at times I can see the strides we have made and I feel hopeful, but then suddenly, bam, another killing, another incident of racial bigotry, another disturbing news article, and I am right back. It is just so hard to be black in America. I'm right back to my own despair and how unrelenting the struggle is and how deep the racism runs and how slow it is to see progress, to see the justice that I so deeply crave. To know the shofar's call, we must not only hear it, but also heed it. The wording of the mitzvah is important. It's the pursuit of justice we are commanded to engage, even if attainment is remote. Remember the words of Rabbi Tarfin, it is not up to you to complete the task, but neither are you free to desist from it. So what can we do? How can we move on and take the next steps beyond the Black Lives Matter sign on our lawn? For many of us, we can start by filling in the gaps in our own education. What did we miss in our history classes? What, kept us, what was kept out of the textbooks? How was our own education lacking? Several years ago, my book group selected The Warmth of Other Sons by Isabel Wilkerson. It's a phenomenal book about the great migration of six million blacks out of the Jim Crow South. As we discussed the book, a group of white educated women, we all asked ourselves the same question. How come we never knew about this? Well, we clearly were not as educated as we thought. So as we hunker down inside because of the smoke, because of the pandemic, or because the rain will soon be here, take this time to fill in the gaps in your education. The gaps are wide, but the books are there. This certainly is something we can do. We're not living the reality of racial injustices on a daily basis, but we can deepen our understanding and open our hearts to those who are. And please, please buy from a local bookstore and help them survive the pandemic. Sadaka is a cornerstone of our tradition. Determining where to donate can be a complex matrix of causes, resources, and priorities. And I'm confident that you are donating to many worthwhile groups. But here's a story. I know someone who is very charitable across the spectrum, including many social justice organizations. But it wasn't until these most recent protests that she realized that she, there was a gap in her own giving. She was not donating to any groups focused specifically on addressing issues that impact Black Americans. It was a disturbing awakening for her that prompted a change in her giving. This can be a time to evaluate your own giving. Are there gaps? Have your priorities changed? Can you stretch a little bit more? And finally, can you direct some of your tzedakah towards those working for racial equity? And finally, there is a call to action. What more can we do? Hundreds of you have enthusiastically responded to ensure that justice is not denied in our upcoming election. You have written thousands of postcards and letters with Reclaim Our Vote, Indivisible Oregon, and Vote Forward. The response has been phenomenal, but the need for action goes way past the election. Can we step up to volunteer with a racial justice organization? Can we identify a specific issue and focus there? And can we commit to speaking up as allies so that our voices are heard? Our voices are our power and our voices must be heard. To quote the great John Lewis, ours is not a struggle of one day, one week, or one year. Ours is not the struggle of one judicial appointment or presidential term. Ours is a struggle of a lifetime or maybe many lifetimes. And each of us in every generation must do our part. Like the twists and curves of the ram's horn, the path forward is winding and sometimes uncertain. 
I hope that as part of our new year, that we as Jews may take the time to reflect on what each of us can do and what steps we can take to continue our pursuit of creating a more just world. So in ending, I leave you with the words of Hillel. If I am not only, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? But if I'm only for myself, who am I? If not now, when? Thank you, Shana Tova. Yosher Koach, Diane, I'm so glad you were willing to give, share your thoughts and words. They're very moving and very important. I want to just mention something that happened a couple days ago in, in my life, which gives me a lot of uh, joy. There's an organization, I believe it's name, I believe I have this correct, Jews of Many Hues, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jews, Jews of Color, who are having uh, high holiday services um, <clears throat> this season. And I had a request from the, can the cantor for the organization to use one of my melodies, Treasure Each Day. And I'm so thrilled, so honored to be able to participate in that service. Um, it really gives me joy to feel that something of my life can so directly contribute to, I hope, the beauty of the, the gathering uh, of our uh, black Jewish co-religionists. Let's turn to Kiddush. May, let's join together. I don't know if you have Kiddush handy, but I have some. <laughs> and I'll try to pass it around. But I can go get some. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Karanu LaAvodato, Veromimanu biktushato, vikidishanu permits votav. Vati ten lanu adonai eloheinu, biahava, et yom hazikaron haze, yom turuamikra kaodesh, zeicher. Litziat Mitzrayim Ki eleinu karata Veotanu ki dashta lavodatecha Udvarcha emet vekayam lad Baruch ata Adonai Melech al kol haaretz Mikadesh Yisrael Veyam Hazikaron. Page 1200, there's a special Havdalah for the end of Shabbat. Baruch Atadunai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei Borei Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamavdil Ben Kodesh Lechol, Ben Hor Lechoshech, Ben Yom Hashvi Lesheshet Yemei HaMaase, Ben Kedushat Shabbat Likdushat Yom Tov, Hivdalta Ved Yom Hashvi, Misheshet Yemei HaMaase Kidashta, Et Amcha Yisrael Kidashta Bikdushatecha, Baruch Atadonai Hamavdil Ben Kodesh 
לקודש. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. Let's turn now to the Aleinu on page 1202. And rise as you're able, either physically or certainly spiritually. Aleinu l'shabayach l'adon hakol לתת גדולה ליוצא בראשית, שנתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. Sometimes I lay under the moon and thank God I'm breathing. Then I pray, don't take me soon, cause I am here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I'd never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for for the people to say that we don't want to fight no more there'll be no more war and children will play one day one day one day Yes, you're muted. Bayom ha-hu, bayom ha-hu, yihye Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. Let's turn now to the Kaddish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish. It's on page 
Almighty and eternal source, in adversity as in joy you are with us. As we recall with affection those whom you have summoned unto you, we thank you for the example of their lives, for our sweet companionship with them, for the cherished memories and the undying inspiration which they leave behind. Comfort, we pray, all who mourn. Give them strength in their sorrow and sustain their faith. In tribute to our departed, may our lives be consecrated to your service. In solemn testimony to that unbroken faith which links the generations one to another, let those who mourn now rise to magnify and sanctify your holy name. And I'd like to mention the names of people from our community or relatives of members. Eleanor Mailman, Harold Singer, Jacob Brenner, Simon Simonton, Kendra Daniels, Jack Dinsfriend, Lester Goldschmidt, Devorah Miriam Holland, Ruth Landis, Sarah Rubenstein, Suzanne Rubenstein, Joy Ungerleiter Mayerson, Dr. Robert Yokel, Douglas Stephen Brodoff, Charles Hirsch, Richard Leonard, Samuel Lux, Dr. Matthew Phelps, Burton Ross Zoller, Celia Tannenbaum, Valerie Bass, Janet Levy Jones, and this week we note the passing of Charles Sleiker, brother-in-law of Sabina Stark. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories always be a blessing. And it's impossible to not mention the passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, even though the tradition is to not say Kaddish for one who's not yet been buried. If you would like to stand in honor of her memory without saying the Kaddish, I want to welcome you to do that as well. Page 1216. Yit gadal v'yit shemei rabah, b'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, b'chayeichon uv'yomeichon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, Ba'agala uvizman kari v'imru. Amen. Amen. Yehei shmei raba mivarach li'alam ul'almei almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase. V'yithadar v'yithale v'yithalal. Shmei d'kudisha b'richu. B'richu. L'eila, l'eila. B'kol b'yata y'yata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata. Da Amiran bi Alma bi Imru, Amen. Yehe Shalama Rabba min Shemaya, Vichayim Aleinu vi Alkol Yisrael bi Imru, Amen. O se Shalom bi Miromav, Hu ya ase Shalom, Aleinu vi Alkol Yisrael, vi Alkol Yoshvetevel, vi Imru, Amen. May the one who is making peace in the heavens grant peace to us and to all of Israel, to all who dwell on earth, and let us say Amen. Let's turn now to Psalm 27. It's on page 1218, and we'll close our service with Achat Sha'alti. There may very well be uh, an English pasted in on the bottom of 1217 as well. Achat shalti met Adonai O Tavakesh Achat shalti met Adonai O Ta'avakesh Shifti Bevet Adonai 
One thing I ask, I ask of God, this I earnestly seek. One thing I ask, I ask, O oh God, this I earnestly seek, that I may dwell in the house of God all the days of my life. Behold the beauty of God, and to be in that holy place. Behold the beauty of God, and to be in that holy place. Good Yantav. Shana Tova Matuka. I am with mixed feelings, must say that I don't have any announcements. So, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow morning for Davenin. Uh, we begin at 9.30. That much I do know. Uh, also, tomorrow afternoon at 2.30, there are uh, shofar services. Uh, there will be a shofar service with the Torah service tomorrow morning, um, but the additional blowing of shofar for the that is traditionally in the Musaf of the High Holiday Liturgy will be done in the afternoon, and you'll have to check your emails or the website to see uh, the locations and the options you have. Good Yantif, thank you so much for being here and participating. Thanks to those who really helped this happen, uh, Paul and Jody and um, Diane, thank you for your words. Emily, thank you for singing one day. And I hope I'm not missing anyone. If I am, please forgive me. Oh yeah, I'll be in trouble in my household here. Talia. Talia. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Good yantif. Bye bye. Shana tova matuka. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova. Thank you, Dan. Great job. I'll leave the meeting open for a few minutes if people want to uh, <clears throat> chat for a few. Good. <laughs> that was great, Diane. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Diane. Well, done. well done. Thank you. It was very nerve wracking, <laughs> I must say. You were very calm. Very, it was, really it calm. was beautiful, Diane. Diane, thank very you. Very moving and to the point. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Inspiring and motivating. Yes. And yep. thank you for and thank you for mentioning vote forward. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know many of us are writing letters and postcards and many other things. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. Diane, what was the name of the book again that you mentioned by Isabel? Oh, the warmth of other suns. So it's it's. It's a beautiful book and it, it's nonfiction, of course, but it reads like fiction. She's a wonderful writer. Mm -hmm. And I think Sabina mentioned her new book, Cast, which is, reads like nonfiction. But um, <laughs> it's very, that's a very intense book. I mean, it's very hard. It's a hard read. But um, The Warmth of Other Suns is a, um, is, is yeah. a very in, in, no, there, enjoyable read. I don't know if enjoyable to write. It, it, it's an easy, it's a nonfiction book that's easy to read. Mm -hmm. Good night, everyone.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Emily, thanks so much for the song. Thank That's you, Emily. <laughs> Yitz, will you be uh, doing the shofar? I remember one time you did it and it was amazing. Are you going to be blowing the shofar? Actually, when you say that, I'm remembering a year when it was so amazing. It was unbelievable. I really couldn't believe it, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. There I was standing before the community. The energy in the room is electric because you're yeah. going to blow the shofar. It's Yontif, right? Uh -huh. And I stood there and blew, and not a sound came out. <laughs> 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 and Shauna came over and took the shofar and hit it and <laughs> went straight up to heaven. <laughs> I just I'll remember you. you did it once and it was unbelievable. <laughs> I, did, I remember when you did it and it was high, very holy, <laughs> Good. very wonderful. <laughs> Who's to say that the silence wasn't holy? I don't know. <laughs> Does that, does, that mean, thing. does that mean you're not going to do it this time? Um, tomorrow, Yossi is going to be blowing the shofar, and I'll have the honor of doing this, the service with him. Right. And Mitch is doing the shofar with, I believe, Rabbi Ruchi. And Evelyn and Hap are doing a service. And so I don't know where everybody's located, but... Uh, Yossi and I are going to be online. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, Good. Rabbi Yitz, I told my mother that you were going to be doing the shofar service, so she's ready. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, she'll be here. <laughs> That's great. Bernie, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Thank you. And Shana, Shana, Shana. Yeah. <laughs> Diane, what? You got smoked out. <laughs> yes, yes, but you know it's okay. We have clean air now. Yay! Yay! And her, her mother is going to be a hundred and one on Wednesday. Oh my God! Oh, wow. oh wow. wonderful! Good for her. Wow. Imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. That's great. A, a, a double of Sapon portions tonight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's that? A double portion. Oh, a double portion? Yes, Tove is on too. Oh, great. Tove me old. 